What is up, family? This has been the wildest week in sports. So let's talk about it. First and foremost, you could be watching any show. You're hanging with us. We appreciate you. But let's talk about the biggest things, the biggest deals from the crazy week of free agency frenzy. I'm going to tell you the five biggest winners. Relax comfortably in your seat and let's go through them. Number one for me, the Houston Texans. Let me update you on all of the moves that they made. Now, most importantly, they added a pass rusher, Daniel Hunter. Hunter, he's had 87 and a half sacks. He's not even 30 years old. Joe Mixon, he's had over 1,300 all-purpose yards his last three seasons. And Al Shire at linebacker, 163 tackles. The head coach, D'Amico Ryans, he completely reloaded this roster. Think about it. On the outside, you now have Will Anderson as a pass rusher. You got Hunter as a pass rusher. In the backfield now, behind C.J. Stroud, you got Joe Mixon. What will the Houston Texans do this year? D'Amico Ryan's rookie coach, C.J. Stroud, rookie quarterback, went to the playoffs already. Imagine what they'll do with this extra talent behind them. They're my biggest winner in free agency. And number two, we talked a lot about them. The Pittsburgh Steelers. See, everybody wants to focus on Russell Wilson, and rightfully so. He's a big-time player. The Steelers are only paying him $1 million, even though he has nine Pro Bowls in his career. Why? Because the Denver Broncos, they're still paying Russell Wilson $39 million based upon that contract. But Patrick Queen, to me, the biggest addition. I said last week the Steelers needed a linebacker. They needed a cornerback. They got them both. Patrick Queen, all pro last year. That's hard to do. Dante Jackson, 14 career interceptions. For this reason, the Steelers, I think, have really bolstered their roster based upon free agency. Free agency has been crazy. I know it's been hard to keep up with on Twitter. So let me help you on this show. At number three, the Green Bay Packers. Yee! Running back, Josh Jacobs, and you heard James Jones. He hype about it. Josh Jacobs, the man behind me here, he had over 2,000 total yards two seasons ago. Xavier McKinney, he is a stud at the safety position. Now, he doesn't make all of his plays with interceptions. I believe he only has six career interceptions, but it's not just about the picks. He comes downhill and he smacks you. And Keyshawn Nixon, consecutive. All pros, yep. two consecutive seasons. What he does at the nickelback position and also what he does as a returner, it is outstanding. The Green Bay Packers, if they haven't surpassed the Detroit Lions, family, they've definitely closed the gap. At number four, the Philadelphia Eagles, y'all. Saquon Barkley, he has gotten all the attention, rightfully so. Rookie year, 2,000 yards, 700 receiving, 1,300 rushing. He's a dude. But for me, it's about Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. I said the Eagles need a defensive enforcer. They do not have one. Gardner-Johnson is that enforcer. And Landon Dickerson. All pro, they retained him two consecutive seasons. He's been an absolute monster. With Jason Kelsey gone, you definitely need somebody within the interior O-line. I'm not talking tackles. Guard to guard, who is stout, and that's Landers Sickerson. And five is a little bit of a surprise. To me, the Dallas Cowboys. Reason I'm saying the Cowboys is they didn't need a lot, but what they needed, they got. The Cowboys desperately. And when I say desperately, I mean desperately needed a linebacker. Now, here's a little bit of the nuance of the conversation. Cowboys got a new defensive coordinator this year, Mike Zimmer. Mike Zimmer was the head coach for the Minnesota Vikings. Mike Zimmer had Eric Kendricks. Eric Kendricks, linebacker with the Minnesota Vikings. Eric Kendricks, now a Dallas Cowboy. Why does this make the Cowboys such a winner? Eric Kendricks had already verbally agreed to be with the Niners. The Niners need a linebacker because Dre Greenlaw is gone. After verbally agreeing to be with the Niners, Eric Kendricks, born in California, played at Cal, was with the Chargers, could have stayed in Cal to go to the Niners. Mike Zimmer said, no, I need my missing piece. The Cowboys did not need a lot. What they needed, in my mind, they got. They are my surprise biggest winner. Heading to the desk. Free agency has been crazy. Well, Sean, it's good to see you. <laughs> Wait, the cow was at a window. No, 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 no. I ain't seen you in about a month and a half. It's good to see you, sir. Yeah, man. So you look good. Most of you always tell me that. They tell me that. The good. things you say, they tell it to me. I look good, happy to see you. Did me. you lose the shady chain? No, I still got it. I still got it. I mean, you know, I like the bling here and there. I got, I got the earrings on today. So. <laughs> Little 60 pieces. Yeah, That's the Eagles all-time Russian leader. The man needs no introduction. It's great to have Shady back. The laughs, the energy, the vibrancy, it is all here. Far end, James Jones. James, let's start with you, big yes, dog. Sir. Who is the biggest winner in free agency? You know what? I'm surprised you didn't have my team on the list. It's Kirk Cousins and the Falcons. I think the Falcons went to work. Okay. It's free agency. Let's, you get Kirk, right? Arguably, no, I'm not going to say arguably. The best quarterback in the division, Kirk Cousins. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's, that's, that's easy, though. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's easy. Some, so now you, yeah. okay. you had bad, 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 bad quarterback play last year. Yes, sir, and you your did. team, even though the division was bad, week 15, they still was in the playoff hunt. You signed Kirk Cousins. Then you get Darnell Mooney. 
to go on the other side That's of Drake solid. London yeah. with Cal Pitts uh, uh, and B. John Robinson. And then you bring Rondell Moore. Yeah, I like that. Rondell one. Moore is the Swiss like Army knife. Now you got a guy that you can hand the ball off to, can run routes, a lot Sir. of speed Greens. down the field. Yeah. I don't really know how you're going to deal with Kirk Cousins in this offense. You could run it with Bijan. You got a big time tight end. He's going to be better with Kurt. Yes, you got that's a big true. time receiver in Drake London. That's true. You get another solid receiver in Darnell Mooney. You get your Swiss Army knife in Rondell Moore. This team right here is trying to win this division. And with Kirk Cousins, they could get that done. They went to work in free agency. And then they just got Ray Ray McLeod, punt returner, kick returner. I like Ray Ray. So that's like another good move. Horse, my boy. Yeah. Okay, Ray Ray. That's another good move. But I think they went to work this, this offseason knowing that they were that close to winning the division last year. Joy Taylor, talk to me. Who was the biggest winner in free agency with all the craziness going Joy on? Joy Taylor talks? <laughs> it's, uh, it's nice to see the Falcons trying. Yeah, yeah they're trying. Good. They're finally trying, because last year they weren't trying, and I'm very, I'm glad that they are. They're actually my second winner, mm. and mostly because of Kirk Cousins, because, yeah. I mean, there's two, there were two guys really on the market with Russell Wilson and Kirk Cousins. We were going to see where they went, and they upgraded tremendously at that position. And look, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what Kirk is going to be, but based off of what he does during the regular season, he's going to help them tremendously. But I have the Steelers as the winners, mm. all the things that you like outlined. That. But if we're looking at what the Steelers needed – and a position that is incredibly hard to fill at the quarterback position, you brought in somebody who ha certainly has a higher ceiling than the other guy in Kirk Cousins. Mm -hmm. Way cheaper, but, I mean, who's – I mean, Kirk Cousins is very expensive. Anyway, he goes. <laughs> let's, let's, let's put some respect on Kirk Cousins and get in that bag. Very, very cheap, a, a Super Bowl-level talent. What he is right now, I don't know, but I don't know what Kirk Cousins is either, True. if we're being honest. So this was a position to fill. They bolstered the defense, which is always a, a, a point for them, and they were great last year, so make it better. I love all the moves that they've made, but I really feel like the Steelers are a team that we take seriously every year, but they can't be taken seriously in the postseason because they don't have the talent at the most important position. I don't know what Russ is going to become, but I think this is the best situation for him. I know we're going to pay a lot of attention to this team, and they can, they're can they excellent at drafting skill positions. So I don't worry so much about uh, the moves that were made because one thing about the Steelers, they're going to draft a wide receiver. No doubt. That wide receiver is going to contribute immediately. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about the Steelers. There's just some teams that just know how to draft certain positions, and the Pittsburgh Steelers are one of them. So I love what the Steelers have done, and I'm really excited to see how the, all these moves play out. Why, why my man Kirk gets so much strings on his, on his block today? <laughs> I, mean, Kirk, 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 Kirk I is, said he's the best quarterback in the division. Yeah, Kirk, but, yeah, but you, dog, said, you said it up like he was about to say a whole lot more. Was like, 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 for a second. I, mean, I mean, Kirk is 1-3 and three in the postseason in 13 Kirk, years. We, I mean, he... We don't, be care, we don't be caring about that. We care about what you do with the stats because the guy in Dallas does it every year. No, no. And we don't never, you know what I'm saying? We're aligned. Well, just, we ain't got to the losers yet, okay? Kirk, we ain't got to the losers. I like Kirk. I, I had Kirk in the that second. I had the Falcons as number think, two. I think, I think Kirk's good. I mean, even with the Achilles, I mean, he's not like he's running and scrambling for first downs. No, he, he's he going to sit back there. He's going to throw that thing. He gets scared. He might throw a pick. <laughs> but he's going to throw some touchdowns. Let me go to my winner for a Talk second, right? winner. And my Don King voice, only in America, <laughs> that you could be an average or above average player and get $50 million guaranteed and get $100 million for a whole contract. Who that? Baker Mayfield! <laughs> Yo, he ain't had no ski masks. He ain't had no, 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 no weapons. No. He just came in and gave my money. Came in there smiling. Yo! Came in there smiling. And they paid him, though. They paid the dude. Came in there smiling. I couldn't believe it. But you know what? I'm happy for him, though. Because I'm a player, right? No and, and if a no player get that man. money, I don't care how you get it. Go and get that, bro. As long as it's not against the law. Yeah. So I'm happy for him. I mean, let's think about his career. In six seasons, you've been the number one pick overall, right? Yeah. So that's, you're supposed to be the best player in the draft. Mm. That didn't work out. You, you go 16, six years, you've been on four different teams, right? You, you come for the Bucks out of nowhere, we'll give you a shot, right? We'll give you a shot to start. Not, not guaranteed, we'll give you a mm -hmm. shot to start. He, he wins out in, the, in camp, and then he takes an a, a average team. They're nine and eight, yeah. the worst division in football. They go to the playoffs, mm -hmm. right? They beat a bad Philadelphia team, and then it's like everybody's saying, yo, he's the savior. <laughs> and to give him $100 million? Oh, only in America. So, so he's saying he won. He won. He won. Not the Bucks. <laughs> he won. He won. And to think that a guy like Baker Mayfield, who, who's like the storyline. I love the storyline for sports. They can have a, 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 a movie about this, right? Walk on, become the Heisman. You go to the NFL first pick oh, overall, oh, imitating uh, Brett Favre, right? And all this crazy <laughs> stuff. You get the league, you was kind of average. You, 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 in six seasons, you had two winning seasons, right? You go to the Bucks, you got 98, y'all barely get a winning record. And then they pay you $100 million yeah, they, only uh, in America. So, I'm going to get a hey, Baker Mayfield. Show me how to 
Because I'm trying to get Fox to me that money. So let me know how I got to do it. Because he done did it. Wow. You could argue the same thing for Kirk Cousins, for sure. No, you can't. No, no you can't. You could. Not, you could. One got more playoff the wins, sir. They're not in the same boat. Don't, nah, I'm not going to let you do this. Oh, okay. What's a, who's a better, I must be still sick. What's a better organization, Washington or Cleveland? Washington. I mean, they're the same. <laughs> Washington. Who's a better quarterback? Who's a better quarterback? Let's just, let's just, uh, no, I, I can't go there with y'all. <laughs> we talking about football, you can't go there? What Baker Mayfield did in Tampa in one year this is, is more impressive than what Kirk Cousins did with Justin Jefferson, with Dalvin Cook, with Jordan Addison, with uh, uh, TJ, who my tight end, with uh, 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 what are we doing with here? Hawkinson. What are we doing here? What, 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 what we're, are we doing, we're doing what I'm doing with Baker so, did. Overachieving. So, okay. Overachieving. Okay, cool. Okay, that's well, what I'm you doing. Got, you give you Landry. You give you Odell Beckham. You give you, what's the running back? Nick no. Chubb. Nick Chubb. I mean, we, we can do this all day if you want to do this. Landry. I said Landry already. Oh, we can do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> and he gave you a playoff win the first year. When he added Kevin Stefanski. Acho. Meanwhile, Kirk Cousins, Kirk Cousins has been in the league since I came to the league. I've worked four jobs since. This is funny. Me and Kirk Cousins came to the league the same time. I've worked four jobs. Kirk got one more playoff win than me. One more playoff win than me. I've worked four jobs, James Jones. I mean, four of them. Acho. Four of them. Are y'all serious? Acho. I am. You can't be serious. So Acho. let me ask you a question. If, if the open market, which it really was, you see what guy got paid some the, the money money. And, and one team, if the Bucks didn't pay Baker Mayfield, don't do this. Who else you think is gonna pay him that money? I'm gonna ask, ask you a question though. Don't do this. Because if you do recall. Kurt had a, a little bidding war. People wanted him. Agent had multiple calls. Baker was like, yo, please let the bus call. Please. Acho, we talking this about... Ain't, this ain't even serious, man. This dude that's been on four different teams, not by choice. Kirk has been on three just, by the way. In by, one, cho- by choice. By choice. By choice. Do the math. Do the math. Three in 12 wait, years wait, wait, or five? Wait, 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 wait. By choice. Wait, wait, wait. And not, guaranteed. This is funny, though. Are we talking about Hold who on. is better at making money? No, who's better at quarterback? Ask that, Joy. Ask that, Joy Taylor. Who's better at quarterback? Let's just stop there. Free the money. This year, who do you think is going to be... Last year, who's a better quarterback? He got hurt last year. Okay. Um, Kirk, Kirk is definitely better at making money. There's no question no about that. No doubt about that. He might be the best no doubt about to ever that. do it. Who's a better quarterback? So you take I it. think Kirk is better. I trust Kirk more of course. in the regular season. I trust Kirk not to do anything differently than he was doing before he got paid and after he got paid. All of those things I can't say about Baker Mayfield. I don't even know what I trust. What can you say? Hold on, before you go, because you love Baker. So I, can we just box you up? <laughs> Since you're speaking up for... What do you love better about Baker than you love about Kurt? Absolutely nothing. But that's what I'm saying. Uh, other other than you. other than the tell. playoff record. I'm saying Which is a big deal. I I, I'm Super saying Bowl, like you, yeah, he did a lot Kirk, for the wins. Kirk does I mean Kirk got smoked. Kirk got smoked in the last time Shady. he played the playoff game. Like in, what, what are we talking in about? In Kirk Cousins' tenure, their most memorable playoff moment in Minnesota. In Kirk Cousins' yes, tenure. I, I the, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I get just a little bit of attention, yes, James yes, Jones? I'm listening. In Kirk Cousins' tenure, the most too. memorable moment in Minnesota was a Case Keenum miracle. Not even a Kirk Cousins miracle. So you telling me while you were there, the most memorable moment that your fans had, you weren't even a quarterback for? That's terrible, man. The most memorable is, moment of Kirk so, is them being 13 and 3. Everyone and mad at us for not talking about it. And so, then losing in the first round. I just think to the I think Giants, that, Daniel Jones. I think that Schmack. Yeah, I mean, losing to Daniel Jones and the Giants is not good. Stuff. I don't think Schmack. I think that Kirk Cousins is a better quarterback. No. And the, everybody, and the market, everybody in the world would say that. Everybody in the market reflects Everybody in the world would say that. So, no, yeah. Not disagreeing with you there. Not disagreeing. I'm just saying, I do think it is impressive that Kirk, with the playoff record that he has after 13 years, mm. being 13 oh. and 3 and getting to the playoffs oh. and losing to Daniel Jones and the Giants and being, how old is he? How old is Kirk? 35. 35 coming off of an Achilles. Yeah. That he just got a bag. I think it's great. I'm happy great. for Kirk. I, mean, I think it's great. One, 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 one guy was a, plan. One one guy was a starting quarterback, yeah. though, right? He ain't had no breaks and all this other but play around though, stuff y'all got going on. For me, this is why. This is play play, James. This Don't is, take it this, serious. They're they joking. I hate, like, when you go to these stats and these playoff stats and all that because it covers our eyes up. Don't cover my it, eyes It up. does. When you, when you watch Kirk Cousins <laughs> play the game of football and you watch Baker Mayfield play the game of football on four different teams getting cut, released, and They're all that. They're not comparable. They're not comparable. Whoa. It's not comparable. They what, are. What was Kirk's, what was Kirk's question? Uh, um, guaranteed money, $100 million, right? $100 million, $100 million guaranteed. $100 million dollars. Double Bakers. Okay, I, I'm double Bakers. Double, double, Bakers. double Bakers, right? Because Kirk Cousins is better. Yes. But am I paying you $100 million 
To, to do what? To win the worst division to in football? To do what? Or to maybe to get do Vanessa what? Falcon. Thank You're you. You're paying him $100 million to do because what? he's a really good because quarterback and he's going to get so you really to good. the playoffs. He's so Kirk Cousins is you, really good? You, you pay him that because he's the best quarterback in free and she's no going to be the quarterback. And he's Kirk going so really good. So, let's, so, so you, you, hold on. She asked you a question, right? Great question. Right? I think so. Let's ask the same thing about the other guy. I don't. I, Baker? Listen, I don't. I don't think that. I think that Baker robbed the Bucks. I don't think that. But that I, I, like, I don't. I'm I, just like, saying. Good for him. But I'm saying. I don't, that, anytime Baker's ever been put in a position where he doesn't have a chip on his shoulder, he falls apart. That's true. So I, I, I don't mean, like. I'm, not, I'm glad shit. he made his money. I think he played well that's enough true. to earn his money. That's true. I think shoulder. they didn't have a. I think that's they didn't true. have a, an option. So I'm with Shady. Good for Baker. Like he went in there, played well enough to get this money. They gave him the money. But Bro, like, like they did all that, and then Kirk Cousins gets signed, and they're not even favored to win the first pick in the draft. And and and. We almost whispered the words "bust" to keep yeah. it a buck. Let me, hold on, let me let me clarify because I did I, I misspoke. I misspoke. Let me clarify. Serious? Minnesota was thirteen and three with Case Keenum. Thirteen and three, Minnesota Miracle before Kirk got there. Kirk mm-hmm. inherited that team. So let's let me clarify where I am at now. Obviously, we have to go to break. Is high level. Baker Mayfield, and I don't know how we got to Baker and Kirk, but I anything that any, I'll take responsibility. I'll say it like Don King brought him up. <laughs> anything that Kirk Cousins does, or I believe that he has done or can do, I don't doubt that Baker can do. Kirk, you can go nine and eight and go to the playoffs, cool. Baker, you can go nine and eight, go to the playoffs, cool. Kirk, you can win the division. Oh, Baker, you can win the division. Congratulations, y'all can both have eleven win teams. You can. Have, it's cool. It's so, gonna look better when Kirk does it. I think. Yes, but when Kirk looks bad, oh my God. Remember the Eagles last year? You watched the game in my crib. Yo, Week three. Baker ain't going to of, of course he has. <laughs> That's why he's on four teams. That's, on four That's teams. what I'm saying. I think we're all. No. Well, we three are saying. Acho. No, no, hold on. Acho is higher up. We gotta go to break. No. no. Hold, hold on. <laughs> You watch a lot of film. I do. You have your, Too either much. your iPad or your laptop. Yes, sir. You mean to tell me over their careers? Even though Baker has more playoff wins, watching these two play the quarterback spot, you're saying that Kurt is not better than Baker? Kirk is better over you their career. Time, James. No, I, no I, I, you this, heard me. I answered the question. This is play, play. Hour. I answered the question. Let me know when we do it for real. I the question. I said, we, we do for real. I'll be back. I said, over the course of their I'm still careers. Sick. Let me come back. <laughs> over the course of their careers, Kirk Cousins is better. Who do I believe in more going into next year? Baker Mayfield. Okay. Simple as that. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.